Hi guys, my name is Archana Raman and I'm a clinical occupational therapist for children and adults. Um, so I work in the field of neurology and pediatrics. Um, today we're going to look at specific tips that you can um, use with children who have just come out of a brain injury or stroke in order to improve a function called orientation. Orientation is nothing but uh, knowing uh, what the day, date, time is, um, where they are, is the child or the adult in the hospital, mm, what kind of a building is it. Uh, a lot of people who come out of um, uh, any neurological impact to the brain, um, be it an excision of a tumor, um, um, aneurysm that has been clipped and coiled, a subarachnoid hemorrhage, a subdural hematoma that has been uh, dealt with through surgery, or after a stroke, a childhood or adult stroke, um, hemiplegia, or after a road traffic accident, um, or once they come out of coma, they would be disoriented, uh, some of them for days, some of them for months. They wouldn't know what's happening around them. They wouldn't know what date, date, or time it is, even after discharge from hospital. And they'd be very confused with what's going on around them. So I have uh, created a list of questions that you can ask them, and I'm going to read out from a sheet so I'm going to be looking below because I've, I'm going to be looking at a sheet here so you can ask them these questions on a routine basis I am certified and trained and specialized in cognitive uh, based rehabilitation um, which is training the brain's attention, memory, concentration, judgment, planning, problem solving and such functions. Uh, we use a very functional approach and in case you want um, therapies for the same, you can get in touch with us. So here are a list of questions. Um, the first thing is, um, this is um, immediate space related questions. So you can ask them what date is it today? What day is it today? what time of the day is it what season do you think it is and they might give you blank stares to start off and you can the prompt them and tell them okay today is tuesday and the date is so and so and this the year is so and so this is the month and you can always have a little whiteboard or a chart next to their bedside and you can write the details every day saying today is monday whether they look at it or not you come to them in the morning and then you read out those details the other questions you can ask them is what is on your right side and then tell me the position you are in. Are you sitting? Are you standing? Are you lying down? And so on. How many chairs or beds are in this room? Tell me what position I am in right now. So you could be standing as a carer right next to the person. You could be facing the person. So the answer could be you're facing me. You're to my left. You're to my right and so on. What are you resting in? Are you resting in a chair? Are you resting on a bed? Um, what room is this? Is this a hospital room? Is this a hall? Is this a lounge? Is this a bedroom? And so on are the answers. Now, what are you wearing on your feet? Socks, some of them may be cold, some of them may be barefooted, mm, or some of them may wear mm, slippers to bed, meaning not um, in cold countries, you have the soft comforting slippers, right? Mm, tell me, what are you dressed in? What clothes are you wearing? And then where is the nearest mobile phone? Is it by your bedside? Is it in mum's hand? Or is it um, next to you? Is it being charged? Questions like that. Um, now I am giving you these extra leads in case the person doesn't answer. I'm giving you clues to know what type of answers you can expect. Where is the table? What direction am I in from you? So am I to your front? Am I to your left, to your right? Don't give them these extra cues okay um, where is the door to this room on which side of you is the door tell me where your watch is so many people have their watch on the bedside table um, or next to them some of them put it under their pillows and sleep um, tell me where your hands are is it on your lap is it resting on the armrest of the wheelchair is it on the chair is it uh, playing with a toy and so on uh, where is the light switch uh, what is on the floor of this room so it could be a, a toy for a child it could be put something on the floor and ask them to look around and let them tell you what's on the floor and then um, where are the lights what is directly in front of you so now I have created several sheets like this with lots of questions and um, uh, you can purchase them from us by contacting us on WhatsApp and we also provide online and in-person uh, training to develop orientation and other brain-based skills. Uh, do get in touch with us on 0091 for the same. 
um, you can write down these questions and this is just um, one sample sheet I'm also going to do the same video uh, in Tamil um, uh, and from my experience I've noticed that um, you shouldn't load the brain with too many questions um, so and consistency is key so you go to the person every day and tell them uh, today the, the date is so and so the day is so and so and this is the time of the day and they still might not be able to get it so don't expect quick and easy results this training takes years and months but if the brain injury has been very mild uh, people um, might respond to your questions um, easily and they might start picking up um, uh, these things and orientation has to be a practice uh, that has to be routinely given for children and adults um, with traumatic or acquired brain injury and other conditions that I mentioned earlier to, in the start of this video. Good luck guys. Uh, if you like this video give us a like and subscribe and share this video with whoever you think it might benefit. Bye bye.